Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to talk about a super useful but often overlooked feature in modern C++, the no discard attribute. If you have ever written a function that returns a value but sometimes forgot to actually use that value, this feature is for you. Let's break it down step by step. So what does no discard actually do? In simple terms, it's an attribute that you can apply to a function or even to a type which tells the compiler, hey, the return value of this function is important, don't ignore it. If you do ignore it, the compiler will give you a warning. Let's look at a basic example. Now, if you call calculate and just discard the result like this, the compiler will warn you because you probably meant to do something with that value. Why is this helpful? Well, it helps catch bugs early. Maybe you are calling a function that returns an error code or a result you need to process. If you forget to use the return value, your program might silently misbehave. Let's take another example using a class. Now, any function that returns error code will also trigger a warning if the result is ignored. That's perfect for things like error handling where you really want developers to check what went wrong. This feature was introduced in C++17 and in C++20 it got an upgrade. You can now include a custom message. If someone calls do something and ignores the result, the compiler won't just warn, they will see your message explaining why it matters. Let's think step by step here. You are writing a low level function. It returns success or failure as a bool. If someone forgets to check that, you might crash later and not know why. By adding no discard, you are putting a safeguard in place. To sum up, no discard helps make your code safer and your intentions clearer. It tells users, don't ignore this, it's important. Simple effective and a great habit to get into. Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful be sure to like and subscribe. Catch you on the flippity flip!